Hello everyone, how are you doing today? In this session, we are going to learn an interesting technique to develop your writing skills and that is learning and using phrases. When you talk about IELTS essays, it is a collection of phrases that you use to depict different types of scenarios. If you look at any essay, uh, you would find that uh, uh, there are some common features in them. Like for example, if you take, uh, uh, let's say any topic wherein an essay is written let me just share my screen i'll be able to show you a few things here so uh, yeah you can see my screen right now here we are showing an essay to you and uh, so in this as you can see uh, there is there is a topic given here uh, the topic is uh, here uh, in today's mod where is the topic so one second yeah here is the question i'm sorry so here it is the question is using a computer every day can have more negative than positive effects on children do you agree or disagree so if you look at this you know it is a question of agreeing or disagreeing some to something so the nature of the question is you are supposed to take one side and defend it because it is asking that do you agree or disagree to this kind of proposition and you're supposed to write about that all right so you will take one side and you will defend it. Let's take one more example very quickly. Traveling from office to home has become very tedious. Some people believe that work from home is a solution for this. Will work from home have more advantages or disadvantages? Now this is a little, there's a little tweak in this because it says, uh, it asks you to make a comparison between advantages and disadvantages, which means you will have to talk about both the sites and tell whether it has got more advantages or disadvantages. So again, the scenario, so like for example, if I have to talk about some templates that you can write in, that you can use in writing, the first, the template that you're supposed to use here is where, how do you talk about something where you are taking just one side? But in this, the template that you're supposed to use is how to speak about something wherein you are supposed to discuss both sides and then take one particular side and give you a, your conclusion because it's asking you that uh, tell us about uh, the advantages and disadvantages of work from home. Let's take one more example very, very quickly. Learning about past has no value for those who are first living in present. Do you agree or disagree? Now, if you look at this again, the statement is, do you agree or disagree? Which means you are supposed to take one side and defend it, which means you are supposed to Maybe you can take three points and talk about them. Children, laser shine time should be uh, educational. Do you agree or disagree? So again, if you look at this, this is an agree, disagree type of essay, wherein you can use the same structure as we were discussing. Yeah, so this was agree, disagree type of essay. Then this one, it says, uh, Everyone should stay at home until the age of 18. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Now, this is an interesting one where it is asking to what extent. It means it's not taking one side. It says to what extent, which means you can take both sides and then defend one and talk about it. So here you would be using a different template. We've got some essays here, which we can uh, uh, read. And uh, that will give the, those essays, reading the essays will give us an idea how to deal with these kind of questions. Uh, this one says everyone should stay in home until the age of 18 to what extent do you agree or disagree so here you can take both sides to what extent which means you can discuss both sides and then talk about your conclusion there let me let's take some more examples subjects such as art sport and music are being dropped from the school curriculum for subjects such as information technology many students suffer as a result of these changes to what extent would you support or reject the idea of moving these subjects from school curriculum? Now, when, it, when the question is about to what extent, there are different answers possible. You can take one side and defend it very strongly, or you can talk about both the sides and then give a balanced solution. So it depends on you, how you, you assess them. So uh, basically, depending on the different types of passages, there are uh, different scenarios or different templates that you can uh, follow. You have to focus on the question. You have to uh, look at the nature of the question and accordingly write an essay. So here there are a collection of sample essays which you can use to develop your own writing. 
there is a sample topic there is an analysis of the topic there is introduction and body and conclusion so a little bit of planning and then there is a complete essay so this can be a very useful uh, document wherein you have got some seven eight essays and you can take them as an example to develop your own writing style of course uh, uh, yeah one more thing which i want to talk about is this particular tab where there are so many phrases so you can take one phrase at a time and develop your own uh, uh, i mean re, uh, use that uh, template or use that phrase uh, in your own sentence so that you can you become a master of that for example in today's modern world so in today's modern world is a common phrase which you can use to talk about certain trends going on as you can see there are a number of examples given here you can write two three examples of your own i mean some sentences using to, in today's modern world so you would have this particular phrase fixed fixed in your mind whenever you try to explain about a scenario you can use in today's modern world similarly around the globe so if something is universal in its nature if something is happening all across the world you can use around the globe and again the sentence is based on that although or while is also a very good uh, 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 i'll call it as discourse marker to tell about uh, you know when you want to write something that has got two aspects you and they are opposite you you make use of although where the cause does not lead to a, an obvious impact although he was old he was very energetic so generally an old person is not considered to be as energetic but here if you, if you find an old person who is very energetic you will use this although he was old he was very energetic although i am tired i'll teach you so you know although i am tired so if you are tired you would not you are not expected to teach you are uh, expected to take some rest but then I, i'll make it a little more extreme although i am ill although i am yeah ill i'll teach you so basically i'm not well i'll teach you so you know counterintuitive so making use of all the similarly in my opinion so if you want to express your opinion you say my opinion the basics of my views now this is again a good way of telling the basics of my views are personal academic and professional so when you use it at the beginning of the sentence in and the beginning of the paragraph in the introduction you can talk about whatever uh, points you want to discuss in the body by using the basics of my views are personal academic and professional and later on you can talk about one subject at a time as shown in one of the essays here so if you go to the first essay you'll find that it has used this structure uh, personal academic and professional one so you can rewrite this second essay i mean using these phrases so basically what i'm trying to show, say is this essentially if you master the phrases if you learn let's say 50 phrases from this list you know how to depict different 50 different types of scenarios in the essay and 50 scenarios is a large number the the sooner the better like for example the sooner we learn english the better for our future jobs the sooner we reach the better for us the sooner we learn new phrases the better for us to become fluent so you know the sooner the better is used in all these sentences and this is a very good way of telling about two things happening i mean the cause and effect the the, the sooner we uh, uh, develop a, a vaccine for covid uh the fast the, the the better for the uh, health of the masses so like this you can use use it and if you develop some sentences using the phrases given here it will become very easy for you to write an essay like today dot 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 but tomorrow so here this b should be in small case actually but yes we can use like this today companies teach computers but tomorrow they will expect aspirants to this today we have enough water but tomorrow we may not have enough water today i am learning english but tomorrow i'll be fluent today so you know when you are talking about two different spans of time or two different phases of time and you are talking about some expected changes you can make use of this structure so learning these phrases can be a great way of developing your writing skills and uh, uh, because these phrases can then be used in number of essays like this means that so in order to expand an idea or in order to uh, further substantiate or give uh, a little explanation you can use this means that this means that computer the learning computer is no more a choice but an unacceptable uh, fact of life and it should be 
unavoidable or an essential part of life an essential uh, learning computers more no more or no more or choice but but a necessity i'll simply say this means that learning computers is no more a choice but a necessity <clears throat> so living in denial now living in denial is also a very idiomatic expression to tell about something which we are uh, not accepting something which is truth but we don't know about it or we do not accept it so um, thinking that things will not change is like living in denial not accepting ch change is living in denial living in denial is like living in fool's paradise uh, living with false assumptions or um, some uh, false notions sooner or later when we want to say that something would happen sooner or later something which is inevitable we call it as sooner or later sooner or later people will reali will realize the importance of health sooner or later i'll succeed so like this you, if you start making sentence the person who uh, works hard would win sooner or later so like this if you start making sentences and if these phrases get edged in your memory if you start remembering them you would be easily uh, you you would you would be, you will find it very easy to draft any essay because you would have see these phrases are like the vehicles to carry your thoughts and if you have got lots and lots of vehicles to carry your thoughts you would never be short of uh, conveying your thoughts in an in emphatic and simpler way so uh, it makes eminent sense to learn these phrases so that you can use them in your writing and you can take the ones which you like like for example um, let's say thanks to so thanks to unprecedented thanks to is used to talk about cause and effect thanks to thanks to uh, covid nobody is going to office these days thanks to the pandemic uh, people prefer to stay at home uh, people don't have a choice but to stay at home these days so you know you can use these expressions so, so learning phrases can be a good key what we have discussed today is I, I i just started with phrases then i showed you some essays written here and and and, and I, the purpose of me showing you the essays was that to tell you that whatever the topic we can always categorize it once we have decided upon a category we know which phrases we are supposed to use to uh, which is in tune with that particular type of category it's like if you are supposed to discuss both views then there are some different set of phrases if you are get, writing a decision essay that something is good or bad you have to use a uh, different set of phrases but then it makes uh, as i said it it is it is it would be very prudent of you to learn these phrases as many of them as possible like for example case in point so case in point is used to give an example the current education system is a case in point uh, i would like to tell you about an incident which can be a case in point to tell how people have become more innovative these days with the advent of covid and this pandemic so you can talk about it this way and of course learning these phrases can be a foundation for uh, developing a very good command over speaking as well so learning phrases is not just important from the perspective of writing but also from the perspective of of um, developing your speaking skills and i would strongly urge you to to learn these phrases you can learn them individually or you can learn while reading the essay but learning the phrases makes all good sense thank you so much